Kanak Enoch 7. It happened, it happened after the sons of men had multiplied in those days that daughters were born to them, elegant and beautiful. And when the watchers, the sons of heaven, beheld them, they became enamored of them, saying to each other, Come, let us select for ourselves women from the progeny of men, and let us beget children. Then their leader, Shimi Aza, said to them, I fear that you may perhaps be indisposed to the performance of this enterprise, and that I alone shall suffer for so grievous, rather grievous a crime. But they answered him and said, We all swear and bind ourselves by mutual execrations that we will not change our intention, but execute our projected undertaking. Then they swore all together and all bound themselves by mutual execrations. Their whole number was 200 who descended upon Ardis, which is the top of Mount Kerman. That mountain, therefore, was called Kerman because they had sworn upon it and bound themselves by mutual execrations. These are the names of their chiefs. Shamiaza, who was their leader, Urkabara Miel, Akibiel, Tamiel, Ramuel, Danel, Azkael, Sarah, Kenal, Asael, Armers, Batraal, Anain, Zavib, Samseviel, Urtael, Churel, Yamyael, Arazaal. These were the perfects of the two hundred angels, and the remainder were all with them. When they took women, each choosing for himself whom they began to approach, and with whom they cohabitate, cohabited, teaching them sorcery, incantations, and the dividing of roots and trees. And the women conceiving brought forth giants, and they bore to them three races first, the great giants. The giants brought forth the Nephilim, and the Nephilim brought forth the Eliud, and they existed, increasing in power according to their greatness, whose stature was three hundred cubits. These devoured all the labor of men until it became impossible to feed them. When they turned themselves against men in order to devour them and began to injure birds, beasts, reptiles, and fish to eat one another's flesh and to drink their blood, then the earth reproved the unrighteous.